When Venus enters Aries, it can bring a time of big changes and new beginnings, whether it's in the realm of work, career, progression, love, education, Venus in Aries can offer significant opportunities for personal growth. On the karmic past life level, Venus in Aries can help us resolve unfinished business from the past in terms of making hasty decisions in love, because you know, Venus is all about love, beauty and partnership and inner values, Aries is all about assertiveness and impulsiveness and on the negative it's about the decisions that may be in this life or past lives we made too quickly in business or love or any other area of your life on a spiritual level this transit can reveal new paths for self-development and um, growth and provide a unique chance to start something new so yeah in terms of work when venus is transiting aries there's a greater potential for productivity and success in the workplace this could mean that people have may just start a job or in the process of pushing for promotion may find themselves in a more favorable position um, additionally working on any project or tasks requiring perseverance and determination so any creative projects you've been putting off this energy can help you uh, do that any exercise plans because aries mars physical energy any ways you've been thinking about you know looking after your sexual health better and stuff like that also so with the energy of aries people may feel more motivated and driven to make their mark on their um, chosen field of work so it's a good time to take risks at work and think outside the past as well um, some of you need to watch out for being impulsive and hooking up with co-workers because this can be disastrous for so some of you it could help with that promotion uh, I'm not going to say whether this is a good or bad thing just saying what can um, come of these energies so yeah all in all, your motivation drive can increase and some of you may feel like you need to take big strides to get ahead and be successful and you'll be more willing to do the action and the hard work that makes you get to where you need to get to. Some of you may be drawn to new opportunities and trying out new strategies to get ahead. It's essential to trust your intuition and take calculated risks. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there and make the necessary changes in your life so this is to do with diet maybe you hook up time sorting in all your distractions that's what i'm trying to say sorting in all the time you spend on your distractions so yeah moving on to what it means for love and hookup some of you may get more um, assertive in your relationships so some of you may take time to plan dates expressing your feelings more openly or being more direct and honest with your partner this can be a period that can help you identify what you want in a relationship and how to communicate your needs to others best learning to be assertive can help you in all aspects of your life but also be careful of the dangers yeah be assertive but try and do it in a nice way and uh, where you don't get too aggressive with it you know and wind other people up the wrong way and just try not to be too forceful if you do decide to you know start a new relationship and stuff like that go for it but chill out as well in terms of education and um, when venus is in aries this can increase focus on learning and education some people may become more energized to expand their intellect and knowledge so this can be researching new things or old things brushing up on your skills some of you as i said may take up a new course or focusing on refining their existing skills there may also be a greater focus on improving your communication with increased desire to share your thoughts and ideas with others so starting a podcast a blog going for a job in communication motivational speaking as well also some of you may start going into or looking into investments any job where it's kind of like you have to go out there and put yourself out there so all sorts of banking jobs and stuff like that as well so during this time especially those with strong mars scorpio eighth and first house energies in the chart may become more focused on learning and education than before and if you do um, use this energy wisely you can make great progression in learning new things and upgrading your skills so you can get a new job and stuff like that on the karmic level when venus enters aries you may find yourself drawn to exploring your past relationship experiences or business experiences some of you may investigate your past lives through meditation spiritual practice such as using tarot cards or a pendulum some of you may go and see a past life and regression therapist so 
this increased understanding of your past lives you may find yourself coming to terms with your karmic patterns especially when it comes to impulsive decision making and the way you may have rushed into love or business partnerships and stuff like that and you know looking to change this behavior so this deeper understanding could potentially give you a more enlightened perspective on the choices you have to make in the present leading to greater personal and spiritual development in the long run it's also perfect time to um, focus on your inner growth and self reflection connecting with your higher self or your higher power exploring your spiritual practice or beliefs and your inner values it's also a great time to focus on self-care exercise and all other personal growth and thinking about how you need to change your beliefs and make the necessary adjustments because you know venus rules um libra so balance and taurus second house which is all about our inner values our possessions how we view ourselves how we view others so going within yourself and changing your opinions or starting to do the work because it is a lifelong work can be beneficial right now in terms of health some of you may have an increase in energy and vitality again especially if you've got strong mars pluto 12th house first house 8th house scorpio neptune energy in your chart as well this can help you stay more focused on your work and career progression and make activities that support your personal and physical health and spiritual development more easier to do for some of you as well there may be increasing opportunities for travel or your job may force you or hook up or romantic relationship may um, cause you to travel more this can be an invaluable opportunity for expanding your horizons and exploring new places within your own country or abroad for some of you travel can help you better appreciate other cultures and costumes and points of view it can also help you break out of your comfort zone allowing you to challenge yourself and grow in ways you never thought possible and even if you don't travel physically some of you may travel mentally or spiritually by meditation or reading more books listening to more podcasts that talk about different opinions different cultures and stuff like that so venus in aries is a period of transition and renewal and as a result it's best to focus on manifesting changes in your life in whether that be in your work career love education or spiritual or personal development staying focused on your goals and desires and taking control of your destiny although it can be challenging it's such a nice idea take control of your life affirm yourself the law of attraction and all of that but anyone that's tried it that it takes practical actions and going through all those traumatic emotions and learning to manage your many moods for some of you so and obviously the obstacles that come from life you know finances not being enough and stuff like that so although it is going to be challenging the best use of this energy of venus in aries is to look at where you can make progress in your life and take steady and slow action to do so so yeah that's venus in aries